Welcome everyone, Scientist Joe here, and this is May's Experiment of the Month. This time around, we're using density to make a cool indoor rainbow. Uh, all you'll need for this experiment is some water, mm, delicious, and some Skittles. Mm, yes. Mm. Uh-oh. I'll be right back. After a short grocery trip, I am back, and I have separated my Skittles into different colors. Uh, this is real easy for me because this is actually how I spend most of my Friday nights. We have two red ones, four orange ones, six yellow ones, eight green ones, and ten purple Skittles. Ten purple Skittles, also known as Scientist Joe's Breakfast. You will need some warm water for this experiment, so I let my sink run for about 20 seconds and then filled up a mug. Now that we have our hot water ready to go, I'm going to put two tablespoons of hot water into each one of these cups. As soon as you add the hot water, you'll start to see the Skittles dissolve. The water will turn different colors, just like this, and uh, the Skittles will start to get smaller and smaller in that hot water. Uh, you can help them to dissolve even faster by stirring each one of these with a spoon or a fork or a straw, whatever you have laying around. These cups have had a chance to cool down to room temperature, and now we are ready to make our rainbow. We want to layer these very gently, one on top of the other, so they don't get too mixed up. And to do that, I am going to drop them, drop by drop, into this clear glass. Uh, I'm using this syringe, which I picked up from uh, the baking aisle in a grocery store, but you can use uh, an eyedropper or a pipette, or even a drinking straw. You could pick it up, drop at a time, and drop it. The purple cup had the same amount of water as all the other ones in it, but it had 10 Skittles, which is the most. So, it has a lot more sugar packed into the same amount of liquid. The amount of stuff packed into a uh, space is known as the density of a fluid. Density. Density. So, we say that this purple liquid is more dense than the rest of them. And if we pour them one on top of the other, the purple should sink to the bottom. Let's test it out. And so, using some Skittles, some water, and our knowledge of density, 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 uh, we have created an indoor rainbow. You might be tempted to drink this experiment at this point. It looks colorful and tasty, but there's a ton of sugar in here, uh, about 90 grams of sugar. That's about two and a half cans of soda worth. That is a ton of sugar. Uh, it also has some dyes in it, and some people are sensitive to artificial dyes. In short, don't eat your science experiments. As usual, I encourage you to get creative with this project to try out different colors and different amounts of candy to see what your results are. Do a little experimentation on your own at home. 
One other thing that might be interesting is to leave this for a few hours and see if it stays in this uh, rainbow pattern. Give it a try. You can check us out on the web at sciencefun.org where we have information on science field trips, uh, science summer camps and day-long camps, more experiments you can do at home. Thanks for stopping by.